Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, I apologize if last episode was a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit underwhelming. I, 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 if you could not tell, I'm just a little bit, I don't know. My head, my head, head's been hurting a little bit today. But anyway, now that we're over back in Tabantha, is this the map? This is Tabantha, right? Yeah, this is Tabantha Frontier. Uh, we're gonna quickly go over here and get a Korok that I spotted from the tower. And then we're probably gonna head north to the next Divine Beast. So, let's just go all the way over here to this rock that's just got a pinwheel on it. A spin wheel. What's it called? I don't know. And let's just have a look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, we've got quite a few targets to shoot. Oh my goodness. And they're a little bit crazy, but it's okay. Oh, nice. Oh, it's up there. Let me go opposite direction. And not see it at all. Oh, there's another one somewhere. It's probably a third one that's just spinning around in circles. Yep. Let's just hit it, please. Oh my goodness. There we go. What? There's another one there. How many things do I have to shoot? Gonna run out of arrows at this rate, considering I have one left. Anyway, another Korok to add to my collection. Let's mark that off. And let's head towards... Oh my goodness. Let's head towards the next area. Just ignoring those chews. Now, I don't know where the road is that I'm supposed to be following to go there. I guess it's this way. On this, th this road. So let's follow this road. Seems like a good idea. Where's my... Oh, they didn't, didn't mean to do that. Horse is way away. Which is a shame. It would be nice. It would probably have been good to take my horse with me. It's just too far away. Oh, maybe? Hang on. If this actually worked somehow... Oh my goodness. I... What? I did not think that I could whistle to my horse from over here. Is that something on top of that pillar? Or is that just the light on it? I think it's just the light. No, he is coming. Just gonna sit here and wait, I suppose. I mean, it's going to just go faster once I get onto my horse. Come on, there he is! I'm surprised I could whistle to my horse from here. I mean, he was, like, I guess he's not that far away, but he was across this mountain, so. Also, what was that sound that I just had happen? What is that sound? I don't know, but anyway. I guess I can walk a little bit further now. No, it's probably, it's probably just better if I walk or run back so I can actually go faster. Come on, mount! Oh, too far. Let's go. This is going to be way faster now. Even if I did wait. Just need to follow the road and we'll be good. Well, that was a thing that just happened. Oh, are there boulders? Oh, a stone talus, okay. Well, I guess I can have a look at it for like two seconds. Shouldn't be too hard to 
take care of. Where is it? It's way over here. Uh, Stone Talus Raya, so this is a, a really strong one. So let's just beat it up super quickly. Naughty Lizard. I should have read that, but I'm busy right now. I'll have a look at it in a second. As you can see, it has the rare ore core. So, let's just take it out. It would have been good to have the third level of Obosa's Fury, but that's okay because we are done. Very nice. Oh, so many ores as well. So good. Anyway, that was that. And I guess there's nothing else over here to worry about. So yeah, that was really good. Now, let's just get back onto our horses. And there's a bit of forest up here, I guess. And also, I think, a, a little outpost thing. A monster outpost. Which I can guess I can have a look at. Probably not going to do anything up here. But if there's a Korok up here, it'd be good to know. Is there actually anything up there? Is there actually anything here? Oh, yes there is. Ow. Don't hurt my horse. They're just hiding. Okay. Have I taken a picture of you? Yes. There goes that guardian sword. Spears are pretty good against them. Where'd he go? There you are. Oh. I don't know what I just, I just did, but that was pretty good. Let's grab some more things here. There's a frog and some Tabantha wheat. This grain is cultivated ex extensively on the Tabantha Plains. It's ground finely with a millstone to be used in cooking. Use it to make things such as stews and breads. Breads. I don't know why I said that weird. Breads. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Feathered edge. Feathered spear. That one. Feathered spear. Its lightweight design is a hallmark of Rito craftsmanship. It's made from light and sturdy materials which afford Rito warriors to, to ease the use uh, ease of use during aerial combat. Okay, well, now that that's done, let's see if I can actually climb up onto here maybe. Please. Come on, just up a little bit more. Is this really not how I'm supposed to get up? Okay. Is there a way I'm supposed to get up? Maybe by chopping a tree down? That'd be a bit strange, but I guess it could work. Don't, not that way. Ugh. This way. Yeah, like that, cool. Let's just run up. It's not a lot up here. There's a few weapons that aren't very good. There's also a chest here. Ten arrows, that's useful, I guess. I do need more arrows all the time. Um, um excuse me, where, you, where do you think you're going? Okay, let's go. For real this time. Probably ignoring a little bit more than I have been. And follow the road. Oh, a bridge, a bridge, a bridge. Oh my goodness, a bridge. Bridges can be evil sometimes. A lot of wind here. Looks like there's some ore down there. But we're good, so let's keep moving. Oh, what? How upset with me are you? I think we lost a bit of friendship with our horse when we got attacked. 
It's okay now. Oh, come on. Oh, please go. Please go. Okay. Everything is fine. There's even a stable up ahead. Doing pretty well to be here already. Rito Stable. There's Cass here as well. And another meal that we could cook if we wanted to. Let me screenshot that. Tad to my collection of screenshots. And hey, look at that! Rumor Mill Volume 2. Greetings from Tracy, your source for the best gossip and news. Have you been hearing any good stories on your travels? I've got a great one for you today. The sword that seals the darkness. The only one who can wield that this sword carries the blood of the hero in their veins. That's what they say about this special blade. Rumor has it. Uh, the blade has been hidden away in a forest somewhere. I have to admit that this rumor really has me inter interested, but sometimes you have to face reality. My reality is, there isn't any hero in my bloodline, so this sword would just be a big paperweight to me. Tracy's recommendation? One star. Well, I think that for me that sword would be pretty good. Need curry rice. The thing about me is, I just can't get enough spice in my life. Spicy! I need that burny tingle. I need curry rice. Now I ha have Highland rice on hand, which I need to make uh, curry rice, but I'm fresh out of Goran spice. I can't just run off and leave the stable. If you happen to get uh, your hands on some Goran spice, can you give it to me? Sure thing. Thank you kindly, sun sunny boy. Curry rice always warms me right up. I'm pretty sure I don't have any. Don't think we've seen it yet. Okay. Curry for what ails you? Also, I believe that around here somewhere nearby. Could be a little bit wrong. I'm pretty sure there's a few things we can do around here. I don't want to spend too much time though. Can I break these? I can, that's amazing. And over here, we have some more of the wild berries. So let's grab some of those because those are alright. A lot of trees have been chopped down over here. Oh, and there's a bear. Ah! Shoot the bear. I can't. I'm bad. And there's a bit of lag. But there's plenty of wood here that you can just break up easily and get if you need wood, so... Tracy's recommendation stuff, I guess. Come on, grab that. Thank you. Oh, and there's even just more over here. There's so much wood! Oh, look at this. This is gonna be great. There we go. Wonderful. How much wood do we have now? 28. That's still not a lot, but that's probably enough that we're gonna need for now. So, let's head to... in this direction. Uh, let me read this. Rito Village. Just head across here. Take a look. Oh, so I can probably change that marker now, since we're here, basically. Hello! Yeah. Good day. Did you need something? Who are you? I am, uh, Kassain of the Rito. Yes. The Rito of Lake Totori, where the men and are fine archers and the women better singers. You being a Hylian, I'm surprised you haven't heard that before. You should visit the village if you get a chance. I guess I will. Now I believe there's also... Am I wrong? Oh. There's a, uh... Yeah, there's a... A Yuga Clan... Thing because they're just going to turn up everywhere now. You don't have to talk to um, travelers anymore and have them turn out to be Yiga Clan. They're just going to be Yiga Clan around. Even the uh, the stronger ones. 
can't carry any more. That's okay. Do I have anything? Any yeah, bows I could just drop? I guess this one is about to break. But I'm actually just going to get rid of this one instead. There we go. Let's just head up this direction. There's a lot of um, updrafts around here. Which is pretty cool. It's just coming from around the place. There's not a lot on this path here. But it is a nice path. I like the idea of going from island to island. Is there anything here? Oh, there's some hearty salmon. Which, as you can expect, would be great for infinite food and heals. This fish makes its home in cold water, giving it extra layers of fat. It temporarily increases your maximum hearts when used in cooking. It also gives you a full restore! Which is the, the much better of the two things that has just t told me. I think that's everything in this water, so let's just get out. But obviously, being able to come back here and have them respawn is also really good. And now, welcome To the Rito Village. I just wanted to let you have that theme play as we were looking around. It's 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 also it's its own thing, but it's also um oh what's it called Dragon Roost Island from Wind Waker, which I thought was pretty cool. Pretty sure a lot of people thought that when they heard it for the first time. There's quite a few places downstairs that we generally have whenever we go to a village of some kind. Uh, these upper floors don't have as much, but they definitely have people in them. All of these Rito that we can talk to. And also this guy. And look at the baby booties! Look at them! Ah, a visitor. Welcome to... Oh ho! That object on your hip, could it be? Forgive me, where are my manners? I am Kanale, elder of Rito Village. Now then, is that not a Sheikah Slate dangling from your hip? 
That's right. Oh my, so it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master of Ali, one of the few able to board the Divine Beast of our meadow. No? What am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for a hundred years. This boy must be a mere descendant, an inheritor of the Sheikah Slate. Ah, forgive me. Champion's descendant, if you would listen uh, to this old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. Now listen. Thank you truly. Now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with the fine beast from Meadow, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining this to the more headstrong Rito warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Teba and ha Hearth tried to comfort Meadow, uh, confront Meadow, but it did not go well, and Hearth was injured. Teba escaped unscathed but I fear he now plans to face Meadow alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please, find Teba. If you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast from Meadow. So yeah, we've made it to another Divine Beast already, basically. It wasn't that hard. This is usually, you know, uh, Vana Boris is usually the last one that casual players would expect to get, so. But anyway, let's activate this shrine and have a look at it. And then I'm gonna probably do something different. Let's see what we have here. Oh, windmills. Okay. That's okay then. I'll figure this out, probably. So I think what happens here is we poke these switches and it rotates these fans. And we need to activate all of the panels, or the, the, the windmills. So that one needs to be that way. That one needs to be that way, probably. Uh, which way one does this one need to go? I think this one... Oh boy. I think this one can go that way. This one can go down. And then, the last one... And go towards us once we turn it around all the way. That's probably not that complicated if I do it like that, but anyway. That was simple enough. Uh, but there's probably a treasure chest somewhere for us to get. I might even turn on the Sheikah sensor for that. Please. Thank you. Oh, and it's around this way. So if I go over here... Maybe? Oh, is it up? Is it up? It might be up. Oh, I see. I see. There's another area. Um... Let's... Let's think about this. So, do we have a fan? And we have a windmill. Is that going to turn all the way around? Or is that going to stay still? It might stay still, I'm not sure. But anyway, an ancient core. But I also believe that we need to possibly... Oh, my ancient... My, my bow broke. Let's just shoot that again. Because I think... I'm pretty sure... That the, the other chest that I need to go get is right over there. And it might be easier to just swim. Possibly. There's a little ledge up there that I need to go. Oh, there's another ledge here as well. Also, the, um... I believe these... Oh. I believe the switches, like, top things look like arrows. Like, that looks like an arrow, right? So it's to indicate which way it's rotating. Okay, that's nothing. <laughs> cool. Weird. Strange. Why would it be... Okay. 
Well, anyway, let's put another ice block in, please, if this thing couldn't be in the way. Put that there. Let's head up. And let's grab this chest. Uh, feathered spear. I'm pretty sure we got one of those last time. Okay, I need to drop something as well. Um, I can probably get rid of this guardian spear now. I think it's the same amount of durability or attack. I don't know about durability. But it's alright. So let's just use that wind there to help us get over to this ladder. Oh, arrow. Grab that. And let's... I think that's everything in the shrine. Nope, there's still one more chest. That's that's why it was beeping at me. I should have... That's kind of, It was a bit, a little bit obvious, but I'm taking a little second to process for some reason. So I guess that means that over here is just looking through to see that that's there. That would make sense. Where? Where? Where is? Where is? Where's? It seems like it's here. Somewhere. Just a little bit... Just a little bit hidden. Oh, probably right there, like the other two. The other two holes. It's just the third hole. Of course, that makes perfect sense. If I could see things. Sapphire, very nice. Is that everything now? Yes, it is. Cool. Let's go exit the shrine and then move on. That's so good, using that wind like that. Okay, let's just jump off of that and head down to the bottom. Right down here. Let's get another heart container. Okay, I think that's the tenth heart container, and I actually want to try and pull the sword again. I think I need two to five more hearts, but I could be wrong, and I want, I want to, I want to know. Please, game, let me say, go out of the thing. I feel like it's possibly close. I'm, 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 I think I'm close to getting, have enough hearts. But I haven't been doing a ton of extra shrines recently. But let's just see if we can. And the answer is no, but it's so close though, because you could see the camera zooming in, basically. That's all you need to know. So I guess now, what I could do is go find three shrines to try again at 11 hearts, which wouldn't be too hard considering how many, how many shrines I have marked on my map that I haven't done yet. And I know of a few other places I could go for shrines, so I could do that. Oh, I, I'm tempted. Uh, but I guess for now we'll actually continue at the Rito. And if once we get the next uh, Divine Beast done, we'll have another heart anyway. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.